If you're new to QGIS, the whole question of versions can be a little bit confusing. If you go to the help menu and then about on a Windows machine, and you can see on screen the equivalent on a Mac, if you go there, you can find out what version you're using. This is quite useful if you've just forgotten or you don't know. And you can have multiple different versions of QGIS on your machine. I usually do, but sometimes people like to update it and then remove previous versions. But don't worry too much about versions. Just be aware that occasionally you'll see something on screen or you won't be able to replicate something. And in those situations, you might want to just check what version you're on and perhaps update to a more recent one. So if I close this and then pull into screen the QGIS download page, this can cause a little bit of confusion whereby the big green button will be a download link to the very most recent version of QGIS that's in development. Sometimes that's referred to as a release candidate. Below that, you'll see the version of QGIS that's got the letters LTR after it. That stands for long-term release. Now, that'll be referred to as the most stable version. It's the, if you like, the final version that's the most robust. But that's not to say the green button version at the moment, 3.32, is any less usable or effective. It just means that the one you'll get from the green button usually has a few more features because the developers are constantly innovating. But really, it doesn't matter too much which one you choose. If in doubt, I'd probably always download the LTR, the long-term release. So things do move quite quickly with new releases, but it's not really something you need to worry about. If you want to get hold of a previous version and you can't see it linked to, the index of downloads page has an archive of previous versions. In this case, we can see all the way back through versions to all the way back to a variety of different installs. We can even get some of the version ones here when I started using it. So the message here is, ideally you'll have the latest long-term release in your machine. If you've not, it usually doesn't matter much, but if you do see something in a video or something on somebody else's screen and it's not on yours, just check what version you're on and whether you might want to update to a newer version.